Let us solve a geometry problem from the 17th Philippine Mathematical Olympiad. This is item number 18 in the area stage. Segment CD is tangent to the circle with center O at point D. Point A is in the interior of the circle and segment AC intersects the circle at point B. If OA equals 2, AB equals 4, BC equals 3, and CD equals 6, find the length of segment OC. Alright. When I first saw this problem, I immediately thought of the power of a point theorem because of the given segments that intersect the circle. And it turned out that it is actually the key to solving this problem along with some correct constructions. Now, before I show you the complete solution, let us go over first the power of a point theorem. There are actually three cases indicated in the theorem. The first case involves two intersecting chords. Suppose the chords are AC and BE intersecting at point E. From this case, we can derive the equation AE times CE equals BE times DE. For the second case, we have a tangent and a secant. Suppose the tangent is BA intersecting the circle at point A and the secant is BD intersecting the circle at points C and D. From this case, we can derive the equation AB squared equals BC times BD. And for the last case, there are two secants involved. Suppose they are CA intersecting the circle at points B and A and CE intersecting the circle at points D and E. And similarly from this case, the equation CB times CA equals CD times CE can be derived. Okay, so the question now is how can we apply this case to the problem? Now, we can find the correct constructions in the diagram so that we can apply the cases in the power of a point theorem. Let us start with the construction OD. Take note that OD is a radius of the circle and it is given that CD is tangent to the circle at point D. So we know that OD being a radius is perpendicular to CD at the point of tangency. Now we can also have the construction CE containing points B and A. Another construction that we can have is the diameter GF containing points O and A. Now notice uh, notice that we can apply the power of a point theorem to the tangent CD and secant CE. So we can have the equation CD squared equals CB times CE. Now before we can substitute the given values here, we must replace first CE with CA plus EA. So this equation becomes CD squared equals CB times the sum EA plus CA. Now, take note that CD is 6, CB is 3, and EA is a known, and then CA is 7. So if we substitute these values here, we get 6 squared equals 3 times the sum EA plus 7. Now, solving for EA, we get EA equals 5. Now, we know that EA is 5. Let us also find the radius uh, GO. But first, let us denote it by R. Observe also that OF is another radius and OF must be equal to R. And so, since OA is 2, AF can be denoted by R minus 2. Now, observe also that we can apply the power of a point theorem to the chords GF and EB. So we have the equation EA times BA equals GA 
times AF. Now, replacing this with the values here, we get 5 times 4 equals R plus 2 times R minus 2. Solving for R, we get R equals 2 square root of 6. Now, we know that GO is 2 square root of 6. Take note that OD is also a radius of the circle, and so OD must also be equal to 2 square root of 6. Now, ODC is a right triangle, and so to find OC, we can just apply the Pythagorean theorem. So, we have the equation OC squared equals the square of 2 square root of 6 plus 6 squared. Solving for OC, we get OC equals 2 square root of 15. And so this is our final answer.